This is a video to explain how to use a multiple stimuli without replacement preference assessment. What we're going to do is start by identifying five potential reinforcers. For this instance, I chose a teddy bear, crayons, silly putty, iPad, and a book. We have to make sure that the reinforcers that we choose can always be reliably delivered to the student if it is earned. We will start by covering up the items and saying, pick one. The students will pick one of the items and we will cover again and we'll record that they chose the iPad first. We'll allow the students to interact with the items for 30 seconds to a minute or however you feel fit. And meanwhile, we are covering up the items again and rearranging them to avoid side bias. We will then remove the item that they are playing with and tell them again, pick one, at which point they will pick another point one. At this point, it was a silly putty. While they're interacting with that, we'll cover it again and rearrange and repeat the process until all the items are gone. In this instance, we saw that the most high preferred was the iPad and the low preferred was a bear since they picked it last. What we're going to do is we're going to take this spreadsheet then and we're going to have our items on the top. We have an iPad, silly putty, a book, crayon, and bear. And that just was the way that I wrote it down and that we see that the iPad was the most high preferred, the silly putty was second, the book was third, the crayon was fourth, and the bear was last. As we can see here, this populates over here and these are actually averages. So when we take my hypothetical data from over here and throw it here, we can see that these values change and we get averages of the different items. So we see that the iPad is the most high preferred item and that the book and the crayons are low preferred and the silly putty and bear are moderately preferred. We can use this when programming for reinforcers um, and making sure we have a high preferred available when it might be a difficult task or have the option to take a break with a low to moderately preferred or keep working for a high preferred item.